Welcome to Return Trajectory on Kerbal Space Program. Now, I've started a new game. We're going to go ahead and open it up. I haven't done anything in here except for a few extra settings. The goal of this career mode is to bring everyone home and all the science that we can, which means that I'm limiting myself to transmissions only. Now, the number of mods that we've got installed is laser docking cam, uh, TAC life support, TAC fuel balancer, dead reentry, universe replacer, uh, cloud lights and city lights, or clouds and cities, whatever that mod is. Yeah, that one. You know the one I'm talking about. So we're our basic first mission, just like all Science Zero missions, attempt to get into orbit. There was some of the interstellar stuff there in the uh, side. I don't know what it was doing there. I guess it didn't have full tech tree inter integration uh, from where that was supposed to go in, but it's completely useless to me right now, so I didn't even bother with it. So we're going to work on a basic um, suborbiter, you know, if we're lucky, orbiter. Uh, ship. So we're going to need transmission. So let's go ahead and put this antenna on here. I like having them pointed directly up that way if I'm coming through the atmosphere and I have to deal with that reentry heat, it's less likely that it will explode. I, uh, no. I, I don't want those engines on the actual uh, fuselage of the ship because that's just extra weight I have to carry with me. Getting rid of weight is, is good. So we're going to have to do some yeah, destructive staging. So we've got, let's see, two boosters followed by one. So that's the two radial boosters followed by the central one. Um, and then after that, we'll go the one above that and then the liquid fuel engine. And that should be good for staging. I wonder if I could, no, no, okay, whatever. Um, struts there or girders for some stabilization before we launch. We don't want this thing to tip over and kill us or kill Jeb on our first launch. We have heat shields, but we don't have decouplers, and the pods have built-in heat shielding, plus we'll have all the rest of the rocket to uh, help keep us, you know, relatively stable on the way down. Let's go ahead and call this the, the Frontier 1. This will be our first ship to launch. Let's go ahead and launch that to the launch pad. So some basic science we can do is... Well, first I want to make sure all of my electricity is routed to my primary command pod. That was TAC Fuel Balancer. We've also got TAC Life Support. Let's go into an EVA report. Get that science. Free, free falling. And let's go ahead and get a crew report while on the launch pad. Go ahead and throttle up, get the SAS on. Report. There we are. You notice a hole in your spacesuit. Hope it isn't serious. Now that's done transmitting. Let's go ahead and launch. Three, two, one. Skadoosh. Up, up, and away. Now we also have the achievement system. So we've got a crew report while in flight. So that's what, three science reports already on the ground in flight, plus an EVA airport. Next stage active. I really like the achievement system. It's like, yay, you did something. You get a nice little award sound. Jeb's happy. Oh, yeah, the uh, alternate resource panel. This does tell me how much I have in my current stage, even though. Uh, I don't have decouplers, so it's not exactly being accurate right now. It's treating all my solid fuel as one stage. And that engine is not overheating. Ah, blast. Alright, let's go ahead and pop the liquid. Uh, burn, 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 burn. Overheat, overheat, overheat. Come on! Yeah! Alright, well, that was an entire booster of solid fuel wasted. Alright, we're down to liquid fuel. Let's go ahead and hopefully we can get in orbit with this. Up we go. I'm gonna go ahead and watch our speed to a certain degree. Let's throttle down a bit. Let's go ahead and start our gravity turn a little bit early. Um, if I can get a suborbital trajectory, I'll be happy. But you know, getting above 70 kilometers is what we're going for right now. Yay! Fly above 10k and not die. It's a good thing. Let's go ahead and get a crew report. Nope, nope. 
still over urban shores. I want to see if I can get the above the ocean biome while still in flight and below like high altitude. Nope. Because I've done it before. There we are, flying over Kerbin Swato. Let's go ahead and transmit that. Get that tasty, tasty science. 3.5 science added. Batteries are charged up again. All right. Upper atmosphere. There we go. Anything above 20 kilometers on Kerbin is upper atmosphere, apparently. So now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and speed up time. Oh, another thing I have down there is the orbit HUD. That gives me a live um, heads-up display all the time, and it's not in the way all the time like some other mods are uh, as far as my apoapsis and periapsis. We've got upper atmosphere EVA report, so we got Jeb out to get that. Moving some fuel around. Boosting that engine up. Burn it sideways. Probably should have waited to my apoapsis. 80 kilometer apoapsis. Let's do a crew report from space. Five science, give me that. Transmitting now. Awesome, five more signs. My apoapsis is getting a bit high. Let's go ahead and shut the engine down. 94 kilometers sounds good. Let's go ahead and get Jab out before, well, we got him for an upper atmosphere already. That's above water. So we should be able to get in orbit. We still got like 34 units of fuel left. Let's go ahead and use it up. Burn, burn, burn. 2200 meters per second and pretty much in orbit 107 by 65 we're just gonna see if we can there we are orbit hey we got another reward going around and around Kerbin get to a stable orbit around Kerbin so we are officially in orbit we got like 10 units of fuel left get to a stable orbit around a celestial body going around and around yet another award Let's see if we can get an EVA report from above this next biome. There we go. What do we got? Grasslands. Cool. Swing around to the other side. Now this is my nice little place to get all the science I need. So we EVA here. We've got highlands. I'm looking for the mountains. Highlands, 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 highlands. Islands, mountains, there we go, mountains. We got that, getting in the pod. Okay, we're over the desert now. Let's go ahead and get the desert biome, and we're done. So we've got shores, oceans, grasslands, highlands, mountains, and deserts. There's still tundra and poles, but uh, I don't think three units of fuel will get us there. Let's go ahead and use up the rest of this. And come back down to the surface. We are on A. Return trajectory. Parachute popped. Oh yeah, throttle down, and there we go, timer. Come on. Coming through the atmosphere, four times time acceleration. Jeb's happy. I'm not using SAS, we're just going to let the aerodynamics take over. Although I might make a few adjustments. There we go, that's good. SAS on. Coming in. We've got some re-entry heat going on there, but that engine's taking it like a champ. I mean, if you're not too aggressive um, on most planets, I mean, the ones with atmospheres anyway, I mean, something like Eve or, or Jewel, you will need heat shields. But uh, on Kerbin, sometimes you can, you know, make it back if you don't mind a few parts blowing up on the way down if they're attached radially to uh, just use your engines as a heat guard since, you know, they have to survive their own explosive heat coming out of their butt. Okay, it's going to descend to the surface. Go ahead and pop that parachute at about 5 kilometers. No crew reports from this altitude since we flew over the ocean already. Got about 44 electricity left. And we've got 250 ablative shielding, but that's actually built into the capsule itself. So if something had gone wrong, we still would have had uh, protection. 
So let's check out this landing. I've got this parachute to pop at 50 meters. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Awesome. We're still intact. Crew report. Transmit, please. Awesome. And we're getting all sorts of nice little awards for landing. One small step. Land on the surface of a celestial body. Michael, open, open the antenna. Flash into an ocean on the surface of the parapet, taking it back. Any, any more awards? Any more? Oh, I think we made it. Land on the surface of a celestial body with all crew members still alive. Awesome. I think we got that. Jeb's, Jeb's sitting in his capsule, all safe and sound. Let's go ahead and get him out. Yeah, EVA report. Whoa, 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 okay. Uh, I don't think I can get back in, but we'll take a... Yep, looks like dirt. I'm in the water. How can I get dirt if I'm in the water? I can see the bottom of the ocean, but it's really far down there. Take a sample surface on curb. Yeah, but I took it from the water. Or here. Okay, let's get two of these, because I know you can collect surface samples more than once, and then you actually do get the full science. So let's go ahead and recover Jeb. Go to the Space Center. We've got 84 science. we got 15 science from Jeb, 15.2. So we got 84 total. Let's go back to the Frontier, recover that as well, and see how much science we got from... Oh, wow, 78 science. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and go to the science and development area and see what we can unlock. Let's go ahead and get decouplers, ooh, larger fuel tanks, goo canister, more science. All right, we got parachutes for survivability. We've got food, water, and oxygen. We've got nose cones, uh, bigger engine, steerable engines. Let's go ahead and get those parachutes. Ooh, batteries and a science junior. That would be nice to have. We also got SAS modules, which are really nice to have as well. Let's go ahead and get those batteries and that Science Junior. That's what we want. We've got lights. Oh, yeah, aviation lights is another mod I'm using. Solar panels, batteries. Uh, I, I want that SAS module. What's next? Um, let's see. Fins, steerable engines, separatrons, bigger solid fuel boosters. Awesome. I think we're going to be going for the well, the electricity next, and struts. Struts are your friend. So the next launch got corrupted, so the next flight is a simulation. We will still get science from it, but this is basically showing that, yes, I have done this science before, and this is the exact same ship that we launched, so I'm not using any extra science that I achieved from this mission. So we've got a GUR report and a science report from the launch pad. We've got a material study and a GUR report while flying, both of which, as you see, we've gotten already. So let's go ahead and time warp, because I don't want to waste time talking your ears off while this thing goes into space. And I go ahead and separate the separatron or these engines now. Pop. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, I am using a different sound pack. Um, I don't remember the name of it at the moment, but I'll be sure to link each and every single mod I'm using um, on the, you know, the about section at the end of the video. We got a little bit of wobble there. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to separate this next stage. It's, it's almost dry, and pop. There we are. Pop those engines. There we are. Next stage is almost out. Ten units of fuel. And jets. Alright, we're almost above 20. Let's get ready to get our next bit of science. And goo report. There we are, and our next level of science report. Upper atmosphere, upper atmosphere. Alright, the only next report we need is... Well, up above Kerberin, really, in orbit, or just, you know, above 70 kilometers. Let's go ahead and speed time up here for a bit. Alright, our apoapsis is getting a bit high. Let's go ahead and throttle down and 
post. All right, let's get into orbit. Burn, burn, burn. All right, we are technically above the atmosphere, so let's go ahead and get our material bay and guru port. Not gonna get much science, but hey, science is science. I don't even need to get in orbit. I got my science. Let's 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 turn around. Turn around. Didn't want to cooperate too much. I don't need to get in orbit. Let's just go down. Just retro burn. Retro burn, yay. Alright, let's go ahead and get this next engine going. Might as well, we got the fuel. Parachutes are set for 50 meters. Cool. Yay. We're suborbital, let's get rid of that. Alright, 600 meters a second, pop those landing gear. Although it looks like we're going to land in the ocean, so I don't think they're going to do us any good. But whatever. Maybe they'll cushion the blow from the water a little bit. I don't want to hit the atmosphere too hard. I don't even know if we'll get re-entry heat. We'll see. Ooh, that's a great shot of the moon there. As we go back into the atmosphere. We lost a little bit of a blade of shielding, but not much, really. Yeah, we're getting mock effects now. We didn't even really get much ranger heat. Go ahead and jettison that. Extra weight we don't need. Pop the chutes, and we'll just coast till we hit the ground now. Breaking the sound barrier, apparently. Was that no? Parachutes deployed. There goes that heat shield. And there goes one of my boosters. Where's the other one? Maybe it's off to my right. And, and splash. Awesome. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Shoot deployed. SAS on. We don't want to tip over. There we are. Awesome. Go ahead and recover this vessel. With this mission complete and our eyes on the skies, we look forward to the next episode of Return Trajectory.